everybody, John Vile, Harvesting Nature Field Staff Writer. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for a classic Philadelphia hot beef sandwich. Except I'm not using beef, I'm using beaver. Yes, hot beaver sandwiches. Stay tuned. So we're going to start by seasoning our beaver with Attack the Calories, Carver's Prime. I think it's going to be an excellent choice for seasoning for these sandwiches. So I've gone ahead and I've cut up two beaver that uh, my family and I have harvested. So we're going to be mainly using the hind legs and front legs for this recipe. We also had back straps. We're going to save those and use them for a different recipe. Uh, so we don't want those to dry out. So for starters, we're just going to go ahead and liberally season up our meat. We're going to let this meat rest for a little while while we go and get our pellet smoker fired up. We're going to be using hickory pellets today. And then we're going to run at around 225 to get a little bit of a smoke on the pieces uh, before we go ahead and braise them. Okay, we have them seasoned up good and we got to Stay tuned, we'll get them on the smoker. Okay, our meat is rested, our smoker's up to 10. So we're gonna throw it on at 225. We're gonna let it smoke for a couple hours. Get a little smoke flavor into it. And then we're gonna braise it down on the pellet grill until it falls apart. Welcome back everybody. We had the beaver on the smoker for about an hour and 40 minutes. It was starting to look a little dry, especially the front leg. So we went ahead and pulled it off and uh, now we're going to put everything together in our uh, crock pot here in our Dutch oven and put it back on the smoker at about 325. It'll probably take at least uh, another three hours or so. We'll keep checking on it until it's, it's going to fall apart. So what I've got here is a yellow pepper, bell pepper, a red bell pepper, one poblano pepper, red onion, and about two thirds of a head of garlic sliced real thin. I'm gonna throw in some tactic calories of salt and pepper. Good sprinkle. We're gonna go ahead and layer beaver pieces right on top. We're just gonna slowly let this braise until the meat completely falls apart. Just under a quart of venison stock. We'll add maybe start off with about a half of a quart of beef stock. Add in one good lager, any beer of your choice. Couple real good gloves and a Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna make sure the pieces are kind of settled down into that, and we'll, as it's cooking, we'll kind of mix them up to make sure everyone's down in the liquid. So I got the smoker running at 325, put the lid on this, get it in there, and we'll see in a couple hours. Okay, folks, it's been about three hours. Pull the beaver off, as you can see, it's just completely falling apart, falling off the bone. So what I'm going to do is just take it all out on the board, get rid of all the bones, separate all the meat, 
put all the meat back in and uh, I'll show you how to build the sandwich. Okay, now we got our meat all shredded up. Gonna take it, mix it all together with the juices that's cooking in and those peppers and the garlic, those red onions. Give it all a good mix. I'll show you how to put this together. Usually these are traditionally on what we call hoagie rolls. No one knows what a hoagie is outside of our area, but it's a good torpedo roll. But for this, I decided I'm going to go with a nice Portuguese roll. And I like to keep it real simple. Just grab a big mountain of that. Maybe put some provolone cheese on. Toss the bun a little bit. Let that cheese melt. Pile on that meat right on top. I like to just finish it. Peppers on top. Next is a taste. Okay, folks, here it is. You definitely want to have some extra napkins with the jus on it. This is definitely a messy sandwich, which is why you want a good sturdy roll. That's a great sandwich. Beaver is amazing. It falls apart. It's moist. It has a very beefy flavor to it. It's still absolutely delicious. Guys, you can try this with other cuts, venison roast. I made this with venison roast. It comes out amazing. That's really good. Get yourself a cold beer. Enjoy. Guys, uh, check out some more recipes like this at harvestingnature.com great articles and thanks. I hope you enjoyed it.